My name's Pippa Rogerson. I'm the Director of Studies in Law at Keyes in Cambridge, and I've been doing this job for about 25 years. So I've seen an awful lot of law students go off into employment after leaving Cambridge. What I wanted to talk to you about today is that what do law students do after they graduate? So the first thing to say, and I think this is important, most law students at Cambridge get a job. The very great majority, maybe almost all of them, get a job after they've left Cambridge. So that's a good thing. But what do these students do? Well, most of them go into the law profession. They will be solicitors. Quite a lot of them will go into the city, into the big commercial firms, but they also go into specialist firms and firms in the provinces. The next most important group, in largest in number, will be the barristers. We have barristers who go again into the specialist commercial sets in London, go into criminal sets, into family sets, go into work uh, around England. That will probably be 70-75% of our students go into that sort of legal profession work. But that's not the only thing you can do with a law degree. You can go into law-related work. You can go into the public sector, to the home office. You can go to local government. You can work in the cabinet office, as one of my students has done. You can work in the army legal advice work. Another of my students has done that. He's currently in Palestine working for the UN. You could work for an international organisation, UNHCR, various things like the World Bank. You you're, use your law degree in that way. You could go and work for the third sector, charitable organisations, voluntary organisations. They all need their lawyers. One of my law students is the chief executive of Reprieve. Reprieve is a charity which deals with death row cases. And you often see Claire Algar on the telly talking about Guantanamo Bay and how that should be closed. So that's what you could do with a law degree from Cambridge. But there are other things you could do. You could do something with a law degree that you could do with a history degree or a politics degree or any other sort of arts or humanities degree. Some of my students have gone into the city into investment banking or into strategy consulting, what used to be called management consulting. Some of them have even gone into politics. Some have decided that actually what they'd like to do is teach, both primary school teaching, secondary school teaching, or sixth form teaching, where they're more likely to be teaching law. Some of my students have become accountants. The big five still seem to want uh, lawyers as much as they want somebody with a different sort of degree. So you can do with law what you could also do with a different sort of degree. So you could do law, you could be law related, you could do something you could do with another sort of degree. And then, just to finish up, there are some what I call uh, different sorts of careers. One of my students, Stephen Mangan, is a comedian. Another of my students is an actor. I've actually got two who are making their living in opera singing and one who's doing it with jazz piano. I suspect all of them are finding that contract law and negotiating their deals uh, with agents and so on it, it, is quite useful. So in short, you can, with a law degree, do anything that you could do with any other sort of degree with the addition of also being a lawyer.